We host a farm stay where we uh, put up farm stay guests in a self-contained home. There's four bedrooms, one with queen bed and three others with single beds in it and very spacious modern living areas and all the comforts of home. So our guests come and they come here to have a nice peaceful relaxing time. The alpacas have a good strong herding instinct so if you've got one leading and the others are a little bit scared they will still follow together and for that reason they're quite easy to work with as long as you've got one who's fairly comfortable working with people. And with these guys, this little fawn guy here, he's pretty special because he's pretty soft and gentle and the other two love to follow so as long as we get him moving we're all go. Hold your hand out. Mikey, do you want to come? Do you hold your hand nice and flat? Very nice to wake up to in the morning with an alpaca outside your window. The barn was built by the original owners who were the Kedsleys back in the 1860s and travellers would travel up this way using the stone walls to get to the uh, gold fields. So I, I come past the barn every day, I look at it, I think it's special to, to think that we've got a bit of special history on this property and a lot of people come to get their photos taken here so it's a bit of a Dunedin treasure to me anyway and it's nice to be able to share it with guests. There's some walking tracks nearby, we're able to tell our guests the tracks to use and there's also flagstaff just up behind the farm stay and great mountain bike tracks up there for those who like the hills and a bit of downhill. So if you're after a holiday you, where you want some relaxation but you also want to be able to take on the main tourist attractions of Dunedin, I think this is a great venue. It's very family friendly, we've set it up for children and it's very suitable for, for groups of people as well so it accommodates all travellers for those who just want some peace and quiet while they're staying in Dunedin.